you back again for another video so from the last one it was to do with gaming pickups and today I'm going to be talking records LPs your good old-fashioned vinyl and I've come to a decision that I'm gonna show you my complete vinyl collection and what I've accumulated over the past year or two because I haven't been a big collector for a while. It's uh, only it's only been maybe one or two, maybe three years at the most. I've been collecting records, and it's just a habit. You just keep buying and buying, don't you? But um, I've always loved music. I've got a big CD collection, but I thought vinyl's more sentimental, and it's just nice to have. You know, just collecting wise and just look nice, it's just nicer to have. So, I'm going to start off with some 7 inch single LPs. Then I'll move on to the 12s. So, obviously, this might be a long video, so, you know, if you're into your records, you might enjoy this. And you might come across some bands, I'm like, who are they? But I do recommend everything I own is top notch music. So, starting off with a band local to me, um, they are a good set of lads and I do seem to get on well with them. Um, and I've been to see them live quite a lot and they play locally and they released this 7 inch and it is limited edition. This one is 143. And if you like your psychedelic rock, well, just psychedelic music. So it's like, if you like your Spaceman Free or your Spiritualized or um, who else can I say? Your Crocodiles and stuff like that. I know it's like no one's probably going to hear of any of these bands, but you might. So I do recommend you take a listen to this band. It's the Lucid Dream. These are local lads from the north of England and do some absolute fine music and this is Moonstruck and the Emptiest Place so the artwork was created I think by a local lass um, who I know and she, I'm sure she designed this artwork which is fantastic it is really really good So 143 limited edition, proper nice. And it is on your purple record. And I do like to get them coloured records while I can. So I think I've purchased this off eBay for about four quid, which bargain, because I know it was sold out as soon as it went on sale. Next up we have another 7 inch LP from the same band, The Lucid Dream, and this is Heartbreak Girl. Sorry about the squeaky chair. But, um, yeah, Heartbreak Girl, and I feel so lonesome. So if you haven't listened to these, or you've never heard of them, Get yourself on YouTube and listen to a couple of the songs. You might you might really enjoy that. You might really enjoy it. I'm sure this one's just on a plain black. But we'll have a look. Because I've got all day. That's on a plain black. And this this band is in. They don't have a label. They've basically got their own label. Um, I think they created it themselves. Holy are you recordings? See, in session, Denton Arm, Carlisle. So, quality stuff. This one's actually got it's scuffed, gutted. Don't know where. This is probably my favourite one. I love the artwork of this one. 
There's a loose stream. Love in my veins, that's a quality song. The devil rides out. I think this one again. Yep, that's on your plain black record. And we have another one by The Lucid Dream. This one is on. There you go, there's the Rickenbacker 330, which the lead singer, Mark, the blue Rickenbacker 330 owns. It's a nice effect they've put on there. Hits me like I'm stoned. Try a little sunshine. And these are obviously recorded in Glasgow. So it's proper nice stuff. And this one is on your nice electric blue. That's a nice record, that. Electric blue record. So they're nice to have. Um, see if I've got any more. No, that's it for them for now. I might as well show you this one. So talking about local bands, this is another local band to me. And obviously the I would like to say the kind of like close mates. And I get on well with them, and they are really well, good set of lads there. But um, that's Sugar Spoon, Space Men Dreams. I like the artwork. Jamie's got the moon. If you go on YouTube, you'll be able to see videos of these, and I do recommend it because it is fantastic videos. Uh, they're not together anymore, but uh, if you go and give them a listen, I'd appreciate it. And uh, stick it on your iPod because they are really good bands. So that is Sugar Spun. Right, a couple of signed singles um, I got from Manchester. I went to see these in Manchester, I think they were a support band for, I can't remember who. It's a very very long time, probably when I was in my teenage years I went and got these. But uh, I was at the gig and they had like memorabilia, CDs, t-shirts and I thought you know what I'll buy a couple of a couple of vinyl. Never even had a vinyl player back then. But um, and I've kept them to this day and they're in pristine condition because I look after stuff, you know. And it is, it's a buffalo. Divorce song, Somewhere in Range, you might have heard them. And they're signed by The Free Piece. Some nice artwork, that. Yeah, so these are just on plain black. Plain black. I do think these are a local Manchester band. Uh, I think they come out round. I think they might have even supported the core teams, in fact, um, at one of the gigs. And this one again. Broken Toy, Climb Climb, signed again. I don't know if that's actually like proper painting, you know, like actually on this card. Might be. Might not. And that one again, that's on a plain black. So I don't I don't think they've actually got any songs on YouTube anymore. I think they just disappeared and you can't non existent. Um another one I got off my mate Stay. Uh just a single. This one is the cure. Love cats. I do like the cure. They are a unique band. From back in the day, and obviously the lead singer is a bit different. I do like that's just on your you playing black. Moving forward, we have a classic anthem from the back in the day when I was a little boy, 
and this one is Eddie Grant Electric Avenue. Everyone's heard of this. This one's a quality track. So go back now. If you remember this song, you've got to go and play it after you've seen this. Eddie Grant Electric Avenue. Just go and have a dance to it because it's fantastic. So that's Eddie Grant. Here we go, another one we got from my mate Steve. He was just clearing out some of his singles and he just donated these to me. And that is Michael Jackson's Bad. So, yeah, it's an MJ album. MJ quality songs. And this is a good, good song. Bad. I'm bad. Right. Next up we have a picture disc of a band I'm not really keen on, but I've got given it for free off stay. It is a limited edition picture disc features unreleased B-sides. And that is The Darkness. He was giving it away, so I thought I'll have it off your pal. So yeah. The only song I can remember from back in the day is I believe in a thing called love and that's absolute G so I and here's another one he give me is Michael Jackson Leave Me Alone. Never heard the song before I don't think so I couldn't tell you much about that one. They're all in these large baggies so quite nice. Next up, this is my favourite single and is one of my all time favourite dance tracks from back in the day and that is Black Box, Ride on Time. So if you all, all remember this, Ride on Time, Ride on Time. So that is, uh, I bought this off eBay for about £2. Absolute bargain. So that is one of my favourite tracks, Ride on Time. Right, so I'm at 12 minutes 40 and I've got a hell of a lot more LPs to show you but these ones are going to be full size LPs so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the video off here and end it for the 7 inch singles and I'll do a separate video for the big LPs so I'll catch you in a bit people, bye bye for now.